side now? No. Must have went from the other side then. Hold on. Put this in there. Put it in there.
stop. Yeah, I got it. Well, guys, my son-in-law came up here to help me out uh, get a start on this handrail, and I think we got a really good start. Looks like each section, I'm putting them on one foot center, and that's only because um, I'm up here by myself, don't have any babies that small. Um, so I basically put them on one foot centers, and because as big as they are, if I do them any closer, it's going to look oddball. But um, we tried to leave them all crooked, and I went ahead and burned them. I know that it's going to change it when I actually put the oil on it, but since I had everything else burned, I was going to leave it uh, a natural color and then put polyurethane on it, but I decided against that. Oil it, just like Patrick told me to. Uh, he said make it just like everything else, so I think it looks um, pretty good. What's the hardest part about building a handrail like this? All of it. All of it! <laughs> well, is it peeling the bark off? Is it getting the holes drilled? Or is it getting these... I think it's getting these where they need to be uh, so that you can get the pegs in them because none of them are actually straight, so you have to do each one of them individually. But. Yeah, I think it's really going to look good when I get it all done. Anyway, he's got to get out of here and get back home. So I've got... Oh yeah, the, the reason that I was putting more screws in the metal up there is because when I was actually putting that on, we ran short. But we had just enough to put one on each side on top and bottom to hold it down. But the, <laughs> I had forgot about it. Believe that? Uh, I had forgot about it and we had a little bit of a wind and I could see these ripple and so I scrounged up enough um, through different uh, aprons, you know, uh, carpenter belts that I would wear, scratched up enough to where I could actually finish the end right here where it couldn't catch anything on the end. And this end up is tucked up underneath the upper side so I wasn't really worried about it but none of the middle was done. But now it's all done and so... I think you said we're supposed to get 40 mile an hour winds tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Chance of snow. Did Jennifer say there was going to be a chance of snow? Yeah, there's a great chance of snow. Well, anyway, um, did get a start on the handrail, and I'll be working on post to finish the other. I've got two that are already ready to go. I've just got to cut them in back here, and um, then I need one, two, three. Probably this one will take six. So three, that's 24. I need 30 of them, 
right? And I sh should be able to finish. Can you think you can handle that before you go home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I want to see him off and then we'll uh, keep moving on with the next project. Well, I know you guys can see over my shoulder that is another yellow pine that I thought would be okay because it was on the back side of that property that I was clearing down there. But evidently not. Um, and you know, that's the second near miss on the sawmill uh, that's happened. There was another tree on the back side of it about a year ago. So I am, when it dries up, I'll take the camera around down there because it's rained all night long. I'll take the camera down there and uh, show you more about what happened. But uh, this just solidifies the fact that I need to go around uh, the perimeter and take down all the yellow pines within reach of any building because um, especially the yellow pines can be very destructive. This is the tree that actually came down the other day in the big windstorm that we had. Um, they expected, I think, up to like 71 miles an hour was the prediction up in the higher elevations. And I think down around 40 mile an hour winds we had around here, but the wind was really getting with it. I was in the cabin, the dogs and I, I don't remember what I was doing, but all of a sudden we heard this big crash and the dog started barking. And I, Immediately, my mind, when that when I knew that the wind was blowing, I was thinking, oh my goodness, that tree fell on the outdoor kitchen. Well, I looked out the bathroom window, and I didn't see anything, and I thought, well, you know, relief, right? Then I came around to the kitchen window, and when I looked out, I seen the top laying there, and I thought, oh no. But it missed the sawmill, and it missed the tiny house. It did crush the... Um, water pump and what it looks like uh, they're laying on it's sitting on top of the barrels there and uh, then that trailer is there but uh, anyway this is what happens to yellow pines in this part of the country um, the least little bit of wind or the least little bit of whatever that caused them to be top heavy they come down and this one was actually pretty straight because when we were pulling the stumps we were looking at it and uh, it looked like there wasn't any threat to anything um, but as I get to looking it didn't have many roots on the downhill side and the wind was coming from that direction and so it just kind of bent it over this way far enough to where those everything gave way and it just came down. So.
Well, we actually got that tree cut up uh, enough to get that trailer out. Um, and honestly, it didn't damage anything on the trailer, not the barrels and not the water pump. So I just had to get that debris that was in front of it. I had to get that sawn up so that I could get the trailer out. But um, I was really lucky because it missed that tiny house and it missed the corner of this sawmill. But when my neighbor came up to help, I just went ahead and shut the cameras off and went ahead and got that done. So um, I've also got the butt up down there. I got it cut into logs. I'll take you down there in just a second and show you that. What I'm going to do is kind of wait until the weather clears up a little bit and then I'm going to try to take my uh, tractor down there, grab hold of that tree and pull it in that direction because actually there's a fork up here that's wedged against this other tree that's actually growing so I'm going to have to get that out of the way but let's walk down here and I'll show you what I did. So yeah, I was managed to be able to get three 12 foot logs out of this and then the top up there, a lot of the limbs I'll use as spindles on the front porch uh, because it's got some, actually it's got some good ones. But I am so lucky, you know, uh, God is good. He provided some more lumber for the new buildings. And honestly, it, that tree fell, like I said, between that little tiny house and that sawmill and didn't damage anything and didn't even damage the trailer that was sitting underneath that cabin that or that uh, little tractor shed that I had luckily the tractor wasn't under it but um, yeah I'm thankful that it didn't hurt anything and most of it's going to be used Well, I was going to work on the spindles for the front porch, but as it happened, um, the ice that was down inside of the um, bush horses out there um, would keep my uh, log clamp from actually going down and holding. So I thought, well, if I can't do that, I can come inside and hang. I've got two more curtains from my cousin. He's only got one left to make. I used some string temporarily. Well, so after this one, I have actually only have one to do, and that will be the one in the bathroom. this necklace that I've been trying to make for my son and I. Um, 
Let's see. I can get feed that through there. Yeah. Some of these, the hole isn't opened up quite all the way. Makes it tough to get on there. So it'll basically look like that. Nothing big and fancy. Well, hey guys, we appreciate you stopping by. We certainly hope that you enjoyed that video. If you're new to this channel, be sure and go check out our other channel, Outpost Review. Uh, it's a behind the scenes vlog on what's going on up here at the cabin or the homestead. Um, be sure and stay tuned because I have continuing work on the handrail to do. I've still got the stairs and the ends to do, uh, along with um, the kitchen shelving I'm putting in and the bathroom shelving. Um, I'll probably start pretty soon on the kitchen cabinetry. Anyway, we hope that you guys, like I said earlier, we hope you enjoyed that video. We hope that each and every one of you have a great afternoon. You all take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.